Well, hey, here we are in our new blue screen, green screen uh, filming studio, for lack of a better word. It's actually John's Garage. So it's pretty cool. We actually got one of these big blue tarps and strung it up, and it's sitting down right here on the ground, and we put a little tarp underneath it so it didn't get dirty. And um, then we've got these lights. These are called softbox lights this one right here is is uh, got six lights in it and you can kind of see well yeah, sort of sort of see what it looks like in the back sort of crinkly you can you can crush this a little bit it's soft and reflective on the inside then it sits on a nice little little stand which we put around and then uh, here's the tripod that the camera sits on john's inside right now just uh, converting some video that we just shot so here's a smaller little light box right here this is a four unit here the thing that we like about this one is it's got these little control units on the back so you can turn the individual lights on and off otherwise you're kind of stuck with doing it manually which is really sort of a pain in the butt so that's one of the things that we learn so the cool thing is that you know you stand right here in the middle of this green or this blue thing and then you shoot something called an alpha channel. Don't ask me what the heck that is. But uh, you can see if I back up just far enough, the two lights are in there. So the one on the right side over here, this is called the, uh, the, the key light. And it's that, that's the six light one. It shoots a little bit brighter light on your face this way. And then this one's a little bit softer light. That's only got four. We've set these at a two to one ratio. So in the big light box, we have three lights on and then one light in the soft. So it creates just a little bit of a shadow on this side of your face over here. Up above, I've got this one turned off, but this is a backlight, so it shines down on your head and sort of outlines your head in the back. So you can see kind of way up there in the air converted. This is on a big boom right here. So the first time we set this up was hilarious because we set it up like there, put it out there, and tipped it right over. So we had to put this pack on the back, and it's got about 20 pounds of weights in it. That's the only thing that'll keep it stable. And then we got these pretty cool, um, I think they're halogen lights right here from one of my wife's buddies, Larry Kless. And uh, so he let us borrow those for a little while. So we're using those to shoot and, and backlight this big blue tarp that we have lined up in the back over there so that's kind of the basics for what our studio looks like this this uh, fabric it's actually just cotton just sits right on top of you know this pole that's extendable up there and then I just went to the fabric store and uh, got myself about oh I don't know it's actually green it looks kind of bluish in here but it's actually green fabric it's five feet wide and I got no oh, probably 17 yards or so so I can do some offsets and then a uh, little PVC pipe hanging here in the corner. That's what I'm going to build my stand on. So here we have it. So this is our production studio where we're shooting all these fabulous transparent videos. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And it's amazing how important this, these lights are uh, and what a difference it makes when you, well, when you use the light, right lighting and when you don't use the light lighting. So hopefully you'll get a chance to go over and check out uh, my website at Target Center Golf and you can see some of these uh, transparent videos as we come through it's a pretty cool process and huge learning curve that we're going up so there you are have it that's uh our production video production studio john's garage and we got to say a big thanks to his wife for uh, letting us borrow this garage for at least a week because we've been doing this and noodling around okay signing off